What inspiration do you get from visiting the Disneyland theme parks? We get more than inspiration we, from, from visiting, visiting theme parks. Uh, we get direct, we're going to recreate this stuff. I mean, when, when guys on my team uh, visit the parks, I mean, they take pictures of the cracks in the in the walls and the the bricks on the ground and the the paint on the on the the, the lamp posts, uh, and that all translates directly into every object, every texture, every visual effect. Everything you see in the games is inspired by something real from a movie or the theme park. So for us, it's it's not just sort of you know vague abstract inspiration. It's that's the stuff we're we're making. We we build stuff in in the most um, realistic fashion we can and then we give it a twist the, the, the guys on the team call it wonkifying we wonkify the, the the stuff after we build it to the blueprints basically do you have a favorite location in disneyland or in disney world i, I do actually um I, I i love the indiana jones ride i mean i just adore that thing uh and uh i'm, I'm a huge fan of phantasmic at, at, at in orlando i think it's um it's still, to this day, I think the best 3D I've ever seen, the most enjoyable 3D experience I've had. Do the European or Asian parks serve as uh, inspiration, or do you see them playing a role in future Epic Mickey games? Well, I haven't been to any of those Asian parks yet, and if anybody from Disney is watching this, please send me to one of the Asian parks soon. Um, yeah, I, I would love to uh, to be inspired by that. Yes, please. Greg Ralph is starring in a new Sega game. Uh, what opportunities do you see this character from future for future Epic Mickey games and Disney games? Well, we'll have to see how it does. I mean, if it if it's not successful, I guess we can put it in the game. But uh, <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's going to do just fine. Uh, I don't I don't think you'll be seeing Wreck-It Ralph in Wasteland anytime soon. Uh, what advice or strategy would you give to someone who picks up uh, Epic Mickey two? You know, the the best advice I can give you is um, if something seems too hard for you, if if you're if you're in a battle with a bunch of animatronic things and you can't figure out how to defeat them, or a platforming problem seems too hard, try something else. Most games, uh, they, if, if, if there's a bunch of bad guys in front of you, you just have to defeat them. If there's a platforming challenge, you just have to, have to get past it. Uh, in Disney Epic Mickey, there's always another way. Find another route, uh, don't, try not fighting, try something else. Uh, games have it's kind of a, it's kind of an interesting paradox because we games have trained people not to think. Games are just about solving a puzzle or defeating bad guys. And we're about you deciding how you want to interact with the world. So if you're having trouble, stop beating your head against that wall, do something else. It might just work. And the story of Oswald is kind of a sad but a triumphant one. Um, for people who are not familiar with the character, can you kind of go through the, maybe just a brief history about what happened to him and how Disney got him back and all that stuff? Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was Walt Disney's first cartoon star. I mean, he was a 26-year-old animator. He and his partner, Ub Iwerks, created this little rabbit character who very quickly became uh, one of the most popular and successful cartoon stars of the silent era. And then in 1928, uh, Walt lost the rights to the character in a contract dispute with his distributor. And so for, what was it, 78 years, someone else made Oswald cartoons that have been largely forgotten. And Oswald didn't appear in any Disney movies, cartoons, comics, nothing. And so in 2006, you will note, a year after my team and I started working on Disney Epic Mickey, Oswald, got, uh, Oswald came back to Disney. Bob Iger, the CEO of, of the company, went to NBC Universal, which owned the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and traded Al Michaels, human sportscaster, for the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I, I could not make this up. It's a true story. Uh, he traded the contract of a human being for the rights to a cartoon rabbit. And uh, everybody at Junction Point just breathed a sigh of relief. Okay, we're going to be able to put Oswald in the game after all. Uh, and uh, the rest is history. We've now brought him back, and he's uh, on his way to becoming a big star. And when will people be playing this game? Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, on all platforms, November 18th in North America, a very important date in Disney history. Uh, and uh, within a week of that, all around the world.